remember how I was going to let the chickens into the veggie garden? Well, I did. I took the fence away, or my husband did. And look at my kale now. The chickens have totally destroyed it, but that's fine because I decided that I was going to sort of start over with the, with the veggie garden. It was just so full of weeds. So yes, this is the current state. <laughs> uh, it's pretty sad, but we'll put some new stuff in there. I guess they don't like silver beets. That looks good. Yeah, so that's the veggie garden. <laughs> I'm making myself a cup of tea of my new favourite Thai, which is this one here, Rosewood French Vanilla from Dilma. And you know, it tastes just like Turkish Delight, which I love. And I found this in the supermarket. They were trying to clear it out, so... I think it was half price so I was very happy with that and the next day I went back and I bought another three boxes so I will be drinking this liquid Turkish delight for some time to come which I'm very happy about. I'll show you this morning I made some sourdough bread. They're not great because we've just spent away and I um, had to get the starter active again and it's and strong and it's just not the strongest yet but I made two loaves I want to give one loaf to my neighbors because they were really nice and they looked after my chickens for me while I was away so I, that's why I made two loaves I thought I'd give one to the neighbors I think they'll still be okay they're just a little bit flat Let's see. Hopefully they'll be all right. So I'm just making myself a cup of tea now because I've spent the morning studying and it was time to uh, have a break and having a lovely cup of tea is just going to be really nice. And then I have some plans for some dyeing before I go back to studying again later. So I'm going to add some milk to my tea and have a little bit of a break.
taking the opportunity to work on my modified Fenmont jumper when I'm having my cup of tea and having a break in between studying and doing a little bit of dyeing. I've just reached the point where I can start making the cuff on the first sleeve which I'm very very happy about because I've been working on this for a little while it's a very quick knit but I've had many other things going on at the same time so it feels like I've been working on it for a long time This is a very much modified um, version of the pattern. This is a DK weight and not fingering as per the pattern. Uh, I'm not doing a textured pattern. I've put in a bit of a color work pattern. So it was basically just a sort of stitch count based on my gauge that I used using a Bendigo Woolen Mills um, Stella yarn. It's a bamboo and wool. I think it's discontinued. It's not on their website anymore. I quite like it. It's a little bit splitty, but it's not bothering me too much. So I'll finish this first sleeve and then I'll pick up the next one and then do the neckline. So that's what I'll work on while I have my cup of tea. about to plan out my um, dyeing session for today. Um, I have all these books with all my recipes. Every time I have um, a dyeing session, I take notes of what I do, even if it's a recipe that I um, have used many times before. Let's see, I have, I think, seven of these little notebooks that I have used. Let's see the first one. Let's see when I did my first. Did I put a? Oh, I didn't put dates in here at the start. 2015 is the first one I find. Um, so yes, back to 2015. I have these notes. I don't normally use the notebooks again. That's just for when I'm actually working on it. I do type everything up um, on a computer and print them out and put them in this folder. But recently I haven't had uh, time to do that, so I've been using the books. But um, for every day, I write down what I want to do and the date, and um, I'll keep notes of everything. So um, that's what I'm going to do for today while I finish the little bit of tea that I have left. Here we have some merino linen singles soaking, ready to be dyed. So let me prepare some pots for them and I can get started. We have the first layer of two new colorways on merino linen singles. I decided I wanted a, a dark purple and I'm going for a red as well, but these are the first layers of just a pale pink and a pale 
so far at the moment and then I'm going to add some more layers of colors and we'll see what we have at the end. girls. I'll come back a bit later then. I'm also dying a speckled colourway today. This is one that I've called Night Market and I've had it before and I'm trying to repeat it. It's never easy with these speckled ones. They always come out slightly different. Well it depends. Sometimes it's easy but uh, this is only the second time I I dye this colourway, so we'll see how it goes. But this is what I'm planning to make my Anna tea from. And I'm dyeing a grey colourway. You can never go wrong with a charcoal grey. So that's the fourth and final colourway for today's dyeing session. This is what the purple one looks like after some more colour added, some more dyes. I'll try. Sometimes it's hard to not keep adding colour, but I want to keep it like this and see what it looks like when it's dry. This is the colourway that was bright, well, was light pink. Now I've added several more layers of colour and it's a sort of a moody red colorway very nice I am in my studio having a look at all the merino linen that I have in um, three skeins or more so that they would be suitable for knitting the Anna tea that I'm hosting a knit along for um, so these are the ones that I had at least three skeins of. So I thought I'd just go through them and show you. This is the pink rock orchid. And all of these skeins are looking a little bit untidy. So sorry about that. Pink rock orchid, which is a bright, bright pink, but it has that light linen specks coming through. This is the disco colorway, blues, purples and pink, variegated. Here we have the midnight colorway, which is a silver gray with pink and yellow specks and splashes. Sorbet colorway, another variegated pink and sort of a peachy orange. This is Garden Lights. It's a, a light green, warm light green with pink and yellow and green speckles. This is the Pinot colorway, tonal purpley red. This is Night Sky, which is a pale blue gray. Tonal. Then it's the what did I call this? Forget me not colorway, which is a um, pale blue with different green speckles on it. This is smaragd, the tonal tealy green. And crocus, variegated, no, not very well, tonal uh, to variegated purple. It has quite different purples in there. Then golden chai, which is a warm tonal yellow. And the last one I have out is this pale green one, which is succulent. It's a tonal 
light green succulent so i have lots of the merino linen singles to choose from and i'm dying up more so um i hope if there's anyone who wants to join in um the anna cow and don't have a yarn already that you'd like to use for it um that you can go and check out the rosie Island website where i have all these listed These are our chicks from earlier this year, or was it end of 2020? They've grown up. They're big hens now. They look nice and healthy. I'm um, sitting in my studio doing a bit of knitting. I'm knitting on a, a pair of socks, these socks here. I have one almost complete except for the heel and then I have this one that I'm working on now. And these were socks that I started to have as travel knitting when we went to Queensland over the school holidays. I um, did take some video from our time away and a few photos, so I probably will have included some of that in this little vlog or whatever we will call it. Um, yes, yeah, so you will maybe have seen that and then some other things from my day to day. It's now... Um, in the late afternoon and everybody's back home again uh, I did some studying this morning and I did some dining after lunch then picked up my girls from school and um, did some tidying and, and things and I thought I'd just come and, and have a bit of a sit down um, to just um, sort of round up this little um bunch of videos i've been making i'm having a second cup of my um, rose and vanilla tea i just love it i will mention um, because i've been wearing this um jumper a bit during my videos i just want to say it's the free wheel jumper by kristen finlay and it's something that I need in my hand dyed dandy sock and dainty merino mohair yarn in the calm waters colorway and I just love it it's the most cozy um anyway what was it that I actually wanted to talk about oh yes I wanted to round up this video by talking a little bit about the um, Anna T cow I have um, mentioned a bit in this video um, that I'm I've been dying yarn for the Anna tea and I showed what I have ready to ship for the Anna tea so the Anna tea if you, you if this is all new to you Anna tea is a t-shirt knitted t-shirt pattern by Sava Stark who is Blackbird Knits on Instagram and uh, it was released in English. It's been available in Swedish for a, a little while, maybe a month or two. And it just a week ago, or less than a week ago, was released in English as well. And I asked um, Sava if it would be okay if I hosted a cow using that pattern. Um, and she said, yes, most definitely. That would be really cool. So um, that's what I'm doing. And 
I haven't hosted a cow for a while and I normally don't host cows that are for a specific pattern or a specific, specific yarn because I like to keep it as open as possible. But I am, um, I decided that this is, this was a t-shirt that I have been waiting for the pattern to be released in English. So I, I prefer knitting English patterns, not Swedish. Um, I had decided that it was something that I wanted to make and the ro um, merino linen singles yarn that I dye for my shop is one of the recommended yarns in the pattern, um, but dyed by a different dyer. Uh, it's the same base though. Um, and I, as you know, I love the merino linen singles and I'm always on the lookout for pattern that are suitable, patterns that are suitable for the yarn. So I knew that I wanted to make this tea and I wanted to make it in my merino linen singles and um, I thought since I'm making it anyway if anyone would be interested in knitting it when I knitted um, why not knit it together and have a knit along so that's what I'm doing it's still not going to be any strict deadlines or anything and you can use any yarn that you like and you take your time uh, we will use the hashtag Anna T cow on Instagram and I will during the month of May towards the end of May I think I will just do some random giveaway for any posts that have used that hashtag on Instagram uh, I do have a Ravelry thread in the Rosip Island Ravelry group for the knit along but that's just if there's anyone who prefers to use the forum like a Ravelry forum to show pictures and things like that. I've had um, quite a bit of interest which is wonderful and quite a few people that have purchased my merino linen singles yarn to make the tea which is wonderful so that's very exciting and um, I plan to cast on on this Saturday 1st of May so I thought I have a bit of a cast on party I don't know at this stage what that actually means I might do a live on YouTube I might just do an Instagram video TV thing or maybe I'll just do something pre-recorded and release it on Saturday I don't know but keep an eye out I'll just I'll plan to cast on 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 Saturday 1st of May and yes make it a bit of a, a special thing so it just sort of all depends on what I will be able to do in and around other things that are on <laughs> in my life. Um, yeah, so we're knitting the Anna tea. And as I said, you can use any yarn that you like. Take your time. I just really want to see what other people are making and what yarn choices, colour choices, how you find it. Just, yes, I, I do love knitting together with other people. And um, yes, I hope that many of you would like to join. And if you don't actually want to knit the tea, maybe you'll still um, have some interest in just following along and, and see what everyone's doing. So that's that's what's happening this week. And um, yes, I, ha I have a few projects that I'm working on. I have these socks. I have another pair of socks that need heels. I have three current jumper projects <laughs> i just finished a cowl that was a test knit for amber o'brien and i'm about to start another test knit for a short pattern that um uses the merino linen singles so yes there's there's a lot happening and that's just yarn and knitting there's a lot of other things happening as well as you know um but that was all i just wanted to um let you know about the anna t knit along and um i'm so looking forward to casting mine on and i hope you will enjoy following along with me see you next time bye